Hey kids, my name is Isaac. You might have heard of me. My dad's name is Abraham. He tried to sacrifice me when I was a little boy. But that's a story for another day. Today I'm here to talk to you about my two kids, Jacob and Esau. When my wife Rebecca was pregnant with Jacob and Esau, she could feel them fighting in her belly. And God told her that, that was, there would be two nations born of Jacob and Esau. And they would be fighting forever. Well, on the day they were finally born, Esau came out first, and he was red and hairy. And then came Jacob. He was holding on to Esau's heel, and so we called him Jacob, which means heel grabber. So there we had our precious twin boys, one hairy and one smooth. Jacob, the smooth one, and Esau, the red hairy one. Hello Isaac, Dr. Hostetler here. Let me introduce you to your two baby boys. Hey, I'm Esau, the firstborn. And if you're not first, you're last. Don't forget it. Hi, my name is Jacob. I'm not the oldest, but I'm still the best. My brother, Esau, he's, he's a hairball, and he smells like a pig. I never liked Jacob. He's been trying to take everything I have since the day we were born. Well, guess what? I'm the firstborn. He wants everything I have so badly I'm sure he'd kill for it. And for a while, he never got any of it. But finally, he deceived me and took my birthright. Birthright is the right which naturally belonged to the firstborn son. The birthright of the firstborn consisted in the first place of double portion of what his father had to leave. The firstborn became head of the family. He also, as had succeeded to a considerable amount of authority over the other members. Further, he generally received the blessing which placed him in close and favored co covenant relationship with Yahweh. One day, I, Esau was out hunting, and I was home making some stew, and he came home. He was really hungry, so he asked me if he could have some stew. So, so I said, I mean, he said, I'll give, I'll give you anything if if I can have some stew. And I said, How about your birthright? And he said, I mean, he thanked me about it, but then he said, Sure. Swear on it. The day he took my birthright, I had just got home from a long day of hunting. I was famished and parched. It was the best stew I ever made. I used my secret ingredient, monkey brains. I could smell his stew cooking. Mmm, that smells delicious. Sure is, you won't regret this. The most delicious stew I ever had. But, there was a price to pay for it. I walked in and asked if I could have some, and he said, Well, you're gonna have to give me something for it. I told him I was starving, I'd give him anything I had. I was stupid. He said, would you give your birthright for it? I thought long and hard, but not long enough. And I said yes to the deal. Finally, we shook on it, and he had my birthright all for a bowl of stew. He took it all. And from that point on, I despised my birthright. My dad Isaac always liked e Esau better because Esau hunted wild animals a lot. 
and my dad really liked to eat wild animals. Hey, you want me to teach you how to throw a curveball? Yeah. I want to play. Get out of here. My mom liked me better because I stayed inside a lot, and I and she even taught me how to cook. So a stick of butter and a pinch of salt. How about a pinch of this loser? Yeah. <laughs> I, I promise you that when I have kids one day, I will I will never like one more than another. You can mark my word on that. Hi, kids. Isaac, the camera's over oh, here. Sorry. Hi, kids. As you can see, I'm a lot older. I'm nearly blind. I feel like I may die any day now. Before I do, I need to give my blessing to my firstborn. A blessing is a ceremonial rite belonging to the firstborn, usually done as a patriarch, approach death. Esau! Esau, come here! Is that you, Esau? Yes, Father. Yes, I can tell. Those hairy arms. Esau, my time is at hand. I'm about to die. I sure would like one more possum sandwich. I'll go fetch it for you. Please, go get me some wild game. My mom overheard and she told me to gather two small goats and and I knew and she said that she would cook them the way he liked to eat it and then she, and then I thought to myself well, I don't smell like him he really stunk and so she gave me she gave she put some goat hair on my arms and Put me in his clothes. Father? Esau, is that you? Yes, Father. Come closer so I can smell you yes, and father. feel you. You sound like Jacob, but your arms are hairy like Esau. And you smell like Esau. Where's the food you promised? That's delicious. Tastes like chicken. Are you ready for your blessing? Yes, Father. I hereby bless you, Esau. May you live long and prosper. May the Lord be with you all the days of your life. I'm tired. I need some sleep. When I came back to receive my birthright and give him the possum sandwich, it had been too late. I had apparently already received it. And at that moment, I knew that deceivious Jacob had stolen what was rightfully mine and taken my blessing. He had deceived me and he had deceived my father. I could never forgive him. No, it was that devious Jacob. No! Goodbye, Mom. I love you. Hope to see you soon. Once Esau found out that I stole the blessing, he was really mad. And he said he was going to kill me. So I ran away to a faraway land. I had to be separated from my whole entire family. While I was away, I, I got married to two sisters. I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ah, uh, good! <laughs> After the whole fiasco with the blessing, Jacob ran away. And for a while, 
I was happy. But once I started to realize with the separation that me and my brother had had, I started to see how much I really cared for him and longed for him to come home. When he finally came home, I could tell he was nervous around me. But I welcomed him with open arms and I was quick to forgive and forget for I had missed my brother so. Years later we were reunited, I thought that he might still be mad at me. Once he saw me, he gave me a big hug, just like he did when we were little kids. He had forgiven me.